Hi, this is Sahana. Today in our Entity Framework Core Series, we will be focusing on the Fluent API. This topic is incredibly important as Fluent API is an integral part of Entity Framework Core. If you are looking for the complete list of videos, head over to my channel. You will find a well-organized playlist specifically dedicated to Entity Framework Core. All the videos you need are right there. If you have watched previous video on many-to-many -many relationship, you would know that we have used Fluent API to configure many-to-many -many relationship. In general, Fluent API is an application programming interface which is designed to provide a more expressive and readable way of configuring an API. And it is implemented by using method chaining. The very important thing to note here is Fluent API is not just limited to the entity framework core. In addition to Entity Framework Core, other frameworks and libraries also use Fluent APIs for configuration. Some examples include Nhibernate, Automapper, ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET and ASP.NET Web API, and Fluent Validation Library, and many more such frameworks make use of Fluent API. To understand Fluent API, first we should understand the concept of method chaining. Method chaining is a programming technique that involves invoking multiple methods on an object in a single statement by chaining the method calls together. It's commonly used in various programming languages and frameworks including libraries and APIs. Look at this piece of code. Here we are configuring many-to-many -many relationship. If you look at this code, first we are making, uh, we are using this object model builder, then we are calling entity. This returns an object that can be used to configure a given entity type in the model. Okay, then we are calling has one method and we are passing this employee. This has one method again returns an object and on that object we are calling with many method and again we are passing this parameter. Again we are calling this has foreign key method and we are passing this employee ID to configure foreign key. See here if you notice we are chaining the method calls together. We are not making three separate calls to configure this. In, in a single statement, we are calling multiple methods and we are configuring. This is how method chaining is done. With Entity Framework Core, we can use Fluent API at various levels, including we can use this to create and configure models while configuring entity types. We can even configure primary key, foreign key and other keys with this. You can configure relationships, indexes, and many more stuff. Here is an important thing to note. We can use data annotations to configure model. Uh, sometimes it is not possible to configure advanced stuff with data annotations. That time we will have to use Fluent API. However, with Fluent API, you can almost do everything that data annotations can do. Look at this employee entity. Here we are using data annotation to specify that employee ID is the primary key. Instead of specifying data annotation, we can achieve the same thing even using Fluent API. Let's open AppDB context file. Here we have on model creating method. To use Fluent API, we have to override on model creating method. Now, what I will do, see, now we can configure primary key this way. Here, you, uh, using this model builder, we have specified entity and we are using this has key method and we are passing employee ID. This will set employee ID as the primary key on this employee entity. Another example would be, we want to make this first name mandatory. For that, we can use required attribute from data annotations. We can achieve same thing with Fluent API as well. Again, come back to AppDB context on model creating method. See, we can use model builder. Again, we have to specify entity. Then, which property? First name property. What we are making? We are making is required. We can achieve the same thing with data annotation or we can make use of Fluent API. There will be some cases where data annotation will not be able to configure. One such example is many-to-many -many relationship. With data annotation, we cannot configure this joining table. That time, we will have to go for Fluent API to configure this many-to-many -many relationship. Here we have configured joining table. If you want to learn Fluent API in detail, then the best resource would be MSDN documents. This document says how to create and configure model see here you can see how to do this it's about grouping information and 
and it also says how to use data annotations to configure model. This document says how to configure entity types and here you can find examples how to use data annotations if you want to use Fluent API how to do that. Even to configure relationships you can refer to this document. I'll keep this overview link in the description and you can navigate through these documents. This session is an attempt to introduce you to the concept of Fluent API. I cannot cover all the examples in this session. In future sessions, as and when necessary, we are going to make use of Fluent API. That time again, it will be a revision for us. I hope the session was useful. There is a lot more to learn. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.